Might just have to wing it and just go. Make some moves here. <laughs> you got your license, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, but okay, yeah. here you go. We're having to just take it. Whoa. I got your permission. <laughs> Alright, Robert, you wanna ride a practice? Oh yeah, let's go. VIP services here. Good? Yeah. Alright, let's go. We'll get there safely, don't worry. Oh uh, yeah, hopefully. I'm two for two right now. So, oh yeah? Yeah, have yeah, a good that's, rating right now. Let's make kind it of. three. Let's make let's it make three. Let's make it three. Let's <laughs> make it there alive. <laughs> All right. Well, since you're new-ish, I feel like you're new but not so new because you've been here since February. Right. So you kind of got the lay of the land. You're a familiar face, but for fans that really don't know too much about you, what's one thing? you like to share? What's one thing you have been talking about? Um, pretty much, I mean, pretty much, I'm just a laid back guy. Oh, I'm Are off you the though? field. I am off, off the, the field. field. <laughs> off the field, yeah, I'm a laid back guy. I um, like to catch movies. Um, I like to stay, like, what I want to say, into movies okay. a lot. So I, I look at all the new movies that's coming out and I try to try to go and see every movie that I could. Okay, so big, what's like your genre you like to stick in? Um, I like more action, action movies, because um, okay. I'd be more into them um, a lot. Um, secondly, it'd probably be romance. Romance yeah. movies? Yeah. Like what, Pretty Woman? Give me some good ones. Um, I like Jason Lyrics. That's one of my um, my best ones that I like to watch is Jason Lyric. Came out way back. I feel like um, this light's not moving for us. Hopefully, cause we, yeah, we might just have to wing it and just go. Make some moves here. <laughs> I have your permission. Yeah, hey, you got your license, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, but this traffic is killing me right now. Okay, yeah, go. we'll have to go. just take it. Whoa. We got your permission. Fans aren't going to like that. Like, take care of our players. I'm like, trust me, they're nah, fine. Nah, yeah, we good. Feel safe? Yeah, we okay. good, we good. I don't have a seatbelt on, but yeah, no, we good. it's not coming. <laughs> right, so you like to watch movies. Okay, so you say you're a pretty laid back guy, but you know, right. I haven't seen that on the field yet. And that's a good thing. You need to be scrappy out there. You seem to play with a, a chip on your shoulder right. a long time. I mean, I have to. Um, coming from where I came from, um, it wasn't just a, a easy a easy get here. Um, right. I went to Southeastern, so I had to grind. I had to grind a lot and, um, and have a chip on my shoulder. And I mean, ever since I got in the league, um, I make sure I, I, I stay with it. Do you feel like that's kind of the identity of this back end, this defense, with guys like DJ Swearinger? I mean, Buda Baker drafted, yes, but he plays with a lot of tenacity. Do you feel like that's kind of the identity that fans can expect from this secondary? Right. That's something that we're trying to bring um, to this team this year. Um, it's everybody that, I mean, all the guys that they have back there have a chip on their shoulder and play with that edge. Yeah. And um, that's something that we're trying to bring new to this defense this year as um, far as us in the, in the back end. So Terrell Suggs said that DJ Humphreys was probably one of the best trash talkers, but I heard that you, you're, you're up there. Yeah. Yeah? Would, yeah. You, would you proclaim that? Yeah. I mean, I try to, I mean, I come with it every day. Um, like like you said, um, when you asked me, do I have a chip on my shoulder? And I mean, that's that's me. I trash talk every day and, uh, and I'm going to have that chip on my shoulder. I mean, it just, it, um, it, it makes me confident too in, in my ability by out there trash talking and I like when guys trash talk me back because that make me be on my P's and Q's yeah, every play. Yeah, makes you better as a contender. Right, right. Hello guys, I'm just gonna swing past real fast. Y'all walking real slow. <laughs> real slow back here. <laughs> 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 How does, so going back to that, just that competitive edge, just, I see you out there talking to receivers. Who's the hardest guy to cover out there right now that you've been up against? Um, I mean, I don't look in, at anybody as a challenge. Um, I look at myself as my as my big um, my big challenge. Um, just me, just being on top of my technique each and every play. So pretty much, I don't look at guys as far as being a big challenge to me. I, I look at myself as being my my biggest challenge. Who have um, you kind of just meshed with the most here since coming to Arizona? Obviously, you had ties and closeness with Patrick Peterson, but mm -hmm. as you you know come into this locker room, who do you see yourself? Um, I mean, of course, it's, it's Patrick, but I see me gelling with um with DJ Swearinger. Okay. Um, when I first got here, well, prior before I got here, um, he hit me up with Shane's numbers on Instagram and, and just stayed in contact. And then once I got here, I felt us gel um even more on and off the field. Yeah. Okay. Well, 
Now, Vance Joseph, he talks a lot about this defense being an attacking defense. It starts with the pass rush, then two covered corners. Now, do you feel like you're going to have to be more of a vocal or a veteran presence there with the loss uh -huh. of Patrick Peterson? And how do you think the secondary is going to rebound from that for the first uh -huh. six weeks? Um, I mean, I, I feel like my play will, will, um, will, will, will lead me into the to that leadership um, category. I'm not too much as a talker. Rah -rah um, yeah, rah-rah guy. I like to lead more by example. And um, with, with Pat being absent, I think it's, it's going to be more than just me that have to step up. It's going to be a number of guys um, on defense that's going to have to step up. And um, each and every day, you can see those guys that, that they're going to need to step up is stepping up. So. Yeah. Well, Daniel Tomlinson said, like, what was like a few years ago, he said, there's no true cover corners out there anymore in the NFL. Like, what is your take on that? Because that just, I mean, he's right in a sense, but uh -huh. you got guys like Patrick Peterson, I see you out there covering half right. of the field. So what's your take on that? Uh, I mean, I leave it in the air, man. Everybody got, everybody entitled to their own opinion yeah. um, at the end of the day. I mean, Damon Thompson played running back, but I mean, right. like I, I said, mean, it's, it's struck every guy, on that right, <laughs> right. Every guy entitled to their own opinion. Um, all I got to do is go out there and just um, show him that it's um it's it's a lot of cover guys that's out there. Right. Then what so do you do think? You, do you bring that um, Deion Sanders swag? Come game day. What's your? <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I like to be swagged out. Yeah. Um. I like to put my clothes out before the game and um and have everything laid out. Mm -hmm. So I mean, yeah. You gotta have that type. You gotta have that swag we'll when you're on the field. We'll be ready for that when you come into the field. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. It, I bring it. Bring it each and every Sunday. What second. is your? How do you get ready for a game then? What's your pregame music? Maybe mm -hmm. pregame meal. Have you? Um. Your mind right? Pre-game meal, I always have breakfast. Um, I can never like have a full stomach. I always feel breakfast is is something light that, that helps me out. And, um, and I you mean, see the linemen like eating spaghetti. Right, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. I do breakfast morning and uh, for for what lunch, dinner, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, but I mean, the pre-game music I listen to is is probably Boozy. Okay. Um, he from back in Louisiana. That's something that I've been on probably since the age of ten. Nice. So um, I find like that's something that that gets me in the zone um, before game time. Calm before the storm. Right. All right, right. Well, we're getting you in the zone for practice. We got water here. We got a, a little oh, yeah. snack before practice time. Oh yeah, I take it. I'm hey, trying I to up my it. rating. You know, I've gotten like four stars, and then oh, yeah? DJ Humphreys gave me a C a for C? driving. But did you feel safe? Um, yeah, I feel good. I probably, <laughs> I probably give her a B plus. Yeah, I feel good. I feel right, really I good. I need to get, I need to get to the A level by camp time. Hopefully, nobody <laughs> beats me. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us today. Right. Have fun at practice. All right, thank you. See you later.